Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. Our good friend is here, have the B. Yeah, yeah, long lost cousin. You want to do the introduction? Yes, I would love to do the introduction. Candy Burris is a singer, songwriter, a mom, an all around good person. Now she's an actress, Grace in the Stage. On Broadway, which is really, really nice. This is where you get your chops now. Yep. This is when no, they say you. either you can make it or not. But you forgot to mention one other thing. Well, of uh, uh, the many things that weren't mentioned that she does. And she came up here one day and, and she promoted it. <laughs> I was out that day. I was, I out, was that out that day. <laughs> she sells sex toys. Woo! Her mama yeah, could be this it. way. Her mother bought one. <laughs> My mama knows that. No, 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 no. <laughs> she bought one. Bedroom candy. Bedroom <laughs> candy. <laughs> oh man, get the it's candy right coated space. Valentine's. Yes, indeed. Um, and now, as Heather was saying, you're doing Broadway. Yeah, it's off Broadway show. Well, off Broadway, but mm-hmm. it's, it's still Broadway. That's right. Yeah, they say Broadway, so it's still there. It's close yeah. enough. Yeah, All right, it's on Forty Second, right? Yes. Well, that's right in Times Square. Well, you know, of... I'm not from New York, so I don't know how that works. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're not downtown on like Eighth Street. That's oh no, way no. off Broadway. No, that's way that's... off Broadway. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> you're you're, you're no, right no. near there. You're yeah, right there. You're a block away from Broadway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Some, some, some people don't even get that close. Well, this show has been running for four years, so I feel you know I'm. I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh-huh. It's funny. It's like hilarious, it's, you know. And so it's a lot of jokes, comedy, and then it's music and singing too. Musical, the musical. That's what it's called. Yes, it's um, it's it kind of reminds you of how Saturday Night Live has all the different skits of current events, but mm-hmm. they make fun of all the stuff that's going mm-hmm. on now. That's what we do. <laughs> I know you really about your money. Like on, you know, in the lobby, do you sell your sex toys? You know, so people can pick up afterwards. Or, <laughs> no, no, okay, no, no not, just, this time. not this time. Not this time. Not this time. What? Well, this is your first time doing off Broadway. Yes, or? this is my first time. This is my first time ever being in, in being in New York for this long. Like, uh-huh. I've because I normally just come be here for like a you know a day or two or whatever and leave. And then you cut out. Yeah, but this time to be here for two weeks, this is a big move for me. You know, <laughs> it's interesting. I like when, you know, artists, um, musicians, singers uh, take on Broadway. That takes a lot of courage. I remember yeah. when Usher did Chicago mm-hmm. and I had a chance to go see him do that and he, mm-hmm. he killed it. You know, there are a lot of people uh, I saw Raven Simone. Yeah. Uh, she did Broadway as well. Fantasia. Fantasia. Mm-hmm. Diddy mm-hmm. did uh, Raising, Raising in the, the Sun. sun. Yep, yep. Yep. You know, uh, what are the differences between between being on stage singing and being on stage acting and singing? And- well, um, well, I would say the difference, obviously, you want your voice to be on point every day. Yeah. You know, and then, you know, as far as like with the acting, especially with this being comedy, it's all about timing. Yeah. You know, because if you're too slow with the joke, it's not funny. Uh-huh. So, you know, it's got to be the right timing, you know, the way we play off of each other. So you have to remember all the lines, all the lyrics to the songs. And, you know, it's, it's a lot to it, but it, it's been fun for me. You know, this is what I love. This is what you love. Your crew mm-hmm. said that, you know, it's been a few people who've been in the role that you're, you're in, including Latoya Jackson, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And they said you smashed her in terms of your performance. <laughs> well, right? I love Latoya. <laughs> I love Latoya. Uh-huh. But, I mean, we're totally different, you know types of you know artists and actresses i'm Wait sure Wait a second latoya jackson can sing <laughs> yeah uh no no i'm thinking Reby did centipede did latoya put out music yeah, she was- what was it the what? whole family s- could sing what? i thought why do you even know that <laughs> oh okay okay he all knows right. everything all right heart don't <laughs> lie we're talking about musical the musical started january 13 and ends on the 26th Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And um, you're going to be in New York for that amount of time. Mm-hmm. Heather, you could probably speak on this. I remember one time I did a a, a cameo on the Parkers mm-hmm. with Monique yep. and Countess Vaughn and and all of those people as syndication. Play Corey. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> so you saw that episode, a lot. okay? But I remember being on set. Um, and I'm not an actor. Never tried, you know. But I took the opportunity. And a lot of actors who have been there, seasoned actors, have been acting for 10, 15, 20, 25 years. I mean, it was almost like they were mad at me for being there. Really? Because, well, you know, you get kind of ushered in because yep. of whatever else you do. And it's because of your brand that they want to invite you there, not because you can act. I had no proof if I, could, I, could, I couldn't I could act. Mm. And I got a lot of stage shade Ooh. there from dudes who were, like, just pissed off. 
you coming into this world of Broadway, mm -hmm. have you received any stage shade? Well, no, I haven't. Because, well, I mean, the thing that I have to say, and not trying to toot my own horn or anything, Go but ahead, girl. I was in musical theater groups before I started singing, so I know how to act. I know how to, I can sing. Uh -huh. So, you know, it's a different type of respect. It, they didn't take it like I was just somebody that's, oh, yeah, she's on TV, so she's trying to jump on stage with us. It yeah. wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. I'm more curious, though, as to why you would do this. You know, you do have to be mm -hmm. away from your daughter. You, you already, you've been successful in so many other areas. And I know people say take risks mm -hmm. and chances all the time, but why mm -hmm. why this? Well, well, she, my daughter and my mom coming this weekend to oh, hang nice. out with okay, me. Cool. But um, the thing about it for me, I always want to take my career to another level. Mm -hmm. And doing Broadway has been a dream of mine since I was a kid. So, you know, you have to put yourself out there sometimes and just do it. And the opportunity came and I was like, wow, this would be a great chance for me to show people what else I can do. Because, you know, right now, sometimes I feel like being on the show, The Housewives, yeah. Canna, you know, people get so caught up in that. They forget the fact that, oh, she can sing or, oh, right. she does do other things, you know. So you have to you know, show people, this is what else I do. Nice. Does it pay Broadway? Like off-Broadway? or is it? I mean, it's not as much as what I made for doing other things, but for me, it's more about the opportunity. It's not always about the money for yeah. me. Yeah, really? Yeah. It stopped being that way once you start making it. No. Oh, okay. It's oh, never okay. been that way for me. Oh, it's never no, been that way. Okay. No, 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 seriously. Like, yeah. I always um, look at where an opportunity can take me from that moment. Because uh -huh. even it's, I've had people to offer me a lot of money for certain things, and I turn it down because it may not be the right look or the right move for me. Yeah. You know, but with this situation, it wasn't about the money. It was more so about, okay, this is something that I've always wanted to do. This will put me in the same circles with people who are doing what I want to do. Yeah. So. Yes, you know. That's that component in the game that is often missing. They call that integrity. Mm. Candy Burris <laughs> is here, ladies and gentlemen. I like that. Yeah. Integrity. Yeah, man. You, we got uh, uh, Kristen on the line from Alabama. Good morning, Kristen. It's Kristen. What up, Kristen? Kristen. Chris. Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing this morning? Doing okay. Say hello to Candy. Hey, Candy. I love hey. that. That's a hit. That is a hit. I love Thank that. you. That's all I wanted to call. You got a hit going. I love it. Let a person fun. That's awesome. You can sing. You're a great singer, and I love how you carry yourself. You have a great mentality about yourself for a black woman. I love it, Candy. Keep it up. Thank you. Say love you. Hey, Christian, you're a citizen. Let's sway in the morning. All right, we got Ashley on the line. Ashley, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? You're doing well. Say hello to Candy. Hi, Candy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I just want to let you know, Ma, you're doing a good job. I've been following you off of um, the housewives and all going through your tragedies and whatnot. Um, I just want to know how, how you've made it this far. Well, how you keep striving. Well, I just keep pushing. I mean, uh, yeah, I've been through some crazy things, and it's kind of, you know, strange how they've been able to capture that for the last few years. But for me, you have to keep pushing. Like, you can't just, you know, follow, you know, just if something really bad happens in your mm -hmm. life, you can't just, like, fall into this depression or anything. Yeah. Like, to me, I've always been a person that has to push through that because, for me, like, my brother passed when I was in 15. Mm -hmm. And the next day I went to school. And my friends wow. were like, why would you do that? And I'm like, because I don't want to focus on anything bad. I don't want to focus on things sad. I want to focus on the positive, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. So that's what keeps me going. Candy, man. I, I love it, man. And uh, you know what? And she makes the best sex toys in the business, too, man. Oh, did, I, did, I mention that? did I mention that? Yes. Oh, okay, all right. And that'll wanna... keep a smile on my face as well, you know? All right. <laughs> Hello. Tracy G, what you got? Woo, so we got to start with Justin Bieber because we all know the trouble he got in with the mischief when he was throwing eggs at mm -hmm. his neighbor's house and then law enforcement got involved. They went, they invaded his mansion. What did they find on the kitchen counter? Molly and Xanax. But Bieber, he didn't get cuffed. That was his boy Lil Zada got it. However, he did get his little cell phone snatched from his hands. Uh -huh. And now it's being reported that he's very worried about the cops seeing what's inside because there could be drug references yep. or some naked pictures. And Candy Burris is here with us today, you mm. know, and, and Justin's a celebrity, you're a celebrity. Uh, if I was to look through your cell phone right now, are there any <laughs> pictures? <laughs> <laughs> that oh, you would not want any of us to see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of what? Do I have to say? I mean, <laughs> you know, wait. Any boob shots? Like, well, that yeah. and dick pic. 
dick pic. Now, I wouldn't want to see the dick pics. I know you wouldn't want to see it, but I like to see it. You keep dick pics, like, handy, just in case? Well, no. I mean, okay, I've been, I was out, I was gone for some days, and, then, you know, the man and I, we send each other some pics, you know? Wait, wow. do you That's keep cool. from, like, your ex-lovers? Do you keep their naked pictures? No, this is what happened. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. When um, Todd and I got serious, I deleted the folder. Like, you know, I yeah, had folders yeah. where, you know, the past, you uh -huh. know, got sent pictures, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, y'all never have people that said, no, no, no. I, throw, I had to throw like, away a bunch of photo albums. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, yeah, so I deleted it. I was so pissed. <laughs> no, but yeah, but it happens, right? Yeah, yeah I just yeah. felt like that was the respectful thing to do. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I Can so. I see one of them boob pics? Oh, gosh. Uh, no. All right, yeah. all right. Well, it's damn, all right, so It's worth the shot. All right, go ahead. <laughs> so Kanye West, oh my goodness. You know, he's been in the news all week and it's not going to stop. And it has to do with this alleged assault with an 18-year-old man because we know his fiance, Kim Kardashian, she was over to get an appointment with a chiropractor. And then she saw this guy who was calling a paparazzi Faggot ass niggers. That's mm -hmm. his term. Wait, who did that? that? This is a random guy. Well, 18 the, the, years the, the, the 18 year old was trying to help her away from the paparazzi. Yes. And then he referred to them as faggot ass niggers. Okay. Then she came in to try to save the say save the day and said, No, don't say that. He turned around and started cursing her out, calling her a nigger lover, saying that she's a slut, then threatening her life. So what? who did she call up on speed dial? Burr, burr, burr. Kanye West. And he came in and there was an alleged assault and now a witness is revealing that he saw Kanye punch this 18-year-old boy 30 times. The receptionist had to get involved. A massage therapist is reportedly the one who broke it up. Allegedly. And then Kanye left the scene and Kim Kardashian went to her appointment. Candy mm. Burris is here with us, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. You ever had to get into a fight because a, a, a fan went too far? Oh, wait, you said because of a fan going no, to No, no, well, hold up. You ever had to get into a fight? <laughs> yeah, I don't been in fights before. Okay, because of a fan? No, not no. about a fan, no. Uh, but who you been fighting? Let's, let's not even <laughs> go into that. <laughs> 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 I mean, but you know what, though? This is what I have to say now. Now, I feel like everybody wants to sue me or to sue anybody they, that they mm -hmm. think has some money. So now I, I feel like I'm paranoid if I start getting too heated and too heated of a discussion. Yeah. Because now I'm like, okay, are they trying to get me there because they want to sue me if I, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just like, ah, oh, I hate this position. This position is a weird position yeah. to be in. You feel, uh, I don't know, you, you, what is trapped. You're almost yeah. impri you're imprisoned in your own celebrity. Who was it who came up here who said, they were trying to. Someone was trying to sue him, and he'd rather pay the hundred thousand dollars to Sean settle. Sean Kingston said that. Sean Kingston did yeah. that. You yeah. got to have almost like a emergency fund, fund for people <laughs> who try to sue mm -hmm. to avoid going to court. It yeah. might cost you less just to settle on something you didn't even do. Right. Right. That's that's what's crazy. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's just like um, people just be coming out of nowhere with like stupid stuff. And you be like, but anyway, with that situation, I feel like Ken. I mean, excuse me. Kanye should take up for his woman. Yeah. You know, you're supposed yeah. to stand up for your woman. But at the same time, that puts him in a bad situation because people definitely are going to want to sue him. They're going to want to sue him. Right. And I'm just under, I don't understand. What are these security guards for? That's my question. <laughs> Where was the security? Yeah. Yeah. Where was Lunch he? break. Well, ah. Did she even have security? Well, I'm sure know. I know. I'm sure he does. Anyway, Candy Burris, thank you for coming by. You're listening to Sway in the morning on Shea 45.